story. Hi, Patrick. Micah Joe, hello to you. I'd like to introduce you to a very special young man here at the Ag School who has been a bright light during what at times have been dark times. In a city the size of Chicago, there lies 78 acres of once upon a time, the last working farm known as the Chicago High School for Agricultural Sciences. In a landscape of unknowns these days, this young man, Shane Blake, is for certain. Every day he gets here at 9 a.m. to tend to the livestock. I take care of those animals, I feed them, I give them water, and I clean those stalls. Shane has autism. Beginning as a freshman 10 years ago, this place has been a perfect fit. How often do you do that? Every morning at, at, at this afternoon. There's cattle, alpacas, pygmy goats, a turkey, a very plump pot-bellied pig, and lots of chickens, laying eggs which are then sold at market. His dad, Pat, a retired firefighter, drops them off in the morning, sometimes helps a bit, but mostly it's all Shane. He's adapted quite well. I'm very happy for him. At the end of the day, he walks about a block home. Shane is good for the animals, and the animals, in turn, are good for him. He started coming up here when he was at uh, grade school for um, field trips. And uh, he came acquainted with the animals, and he found his niche, actually. Very little eye contact prior. And then all of a sudden, he just came out of his shell. It was like night and day with him. It was really fascinating to see. Normally, this place would be a beehive of activity, with students working the farm too. But like elsewhere, no school, no prom, no graduation for seniors. Shane misses the company. Do you miss the kids who are here? Or not? Uh, 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 yeah. One day, Shane, who also rides horses and has medaled at the Special Olympics, would like to have his own farm. Dad says that's not in the budget presently, but hey, you never know. <laughs> if we win the lottery. <laughs> in the meantime, there's plenty here to tend to, including keeping an eye on a very expectant goat, Angel. Her due date, three weeks, and here comes the baby, or babies. For a city slicker like me, that is just crazy talk. Uh-uh, says Shane. Crazy, huh? It's not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, right? Yeah. Mr. Hook, the principal, was unable to make it today, but he was uh, fast to tell me that Shane is his all-star. Shane, who tells me he's a very proud member, paid member of this staff. He'll report back when Angel gives birth. And Joe and Mike, as I throw back to you, Angel was mated with some fast-talking goat from an ag school in Milwaukee. Mm. So now you know, right. that's are that. You, are you gonna go back for the birth? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want, <laughs> I'm here to please you. <laughs> oh, Shane is wonderful. Thank yeah. you, Patrick. Good luck with the lottery. <laughs>